All right, guys, we're inside Luxor Temple. The sunset is absolutely beautiful, and to help you enjoy it, Azama's gonna sing a song. It's amazing. Then I think I'm gonna try the stuffed pigeon. Ow, ow. All right, good morning, guys. We're here in Luxor, Egypt. I'm here with my friend Azam. There he is. We're about to, uh, we, we slept a little bit more after the train, and now we're at our hostel here, New Everest Hostel in Luxor. We're about to have some breakfast, and then we are gonna go explore the east bank of Luxor today. And this is all from the itinerary that my friend Fatma gave me from Cairo, so thanks Fatma. We're up on the rooftop here of our hostel. So we're gonna have a quick breakfast. It's so hot here. It's so much hotter than Cairo here. I think I'm gonna burn and become so red. I'm gonna get nice and fried. This is the included breakfast with the stay here at New Everest Hostel, which costs about $9 a night, I believe, for a private room with the bathroom in the room. So amazing value, check it out. You got fresh orange juice. We got bread that was just dropped off by the bakery I saw today when we arrived. So good, like Egyptian flatbread. Egg omelet just cooked, full. The Egyptian staple, the bananas, some cheese, and some jelly, all included in the price. So amazing. Alright guys, so we are out here, gonna go to Luxor Temple, yeah? Yeah. Right along the street by our hotel and we're gonna check it out, it's right along the Nile too and you can see it already up ahead. Wow, so cool. Alright guys, we're inside Luxor Temple and Luxor in general has like a treasure trove of Egyptian ruins and history and everything, but this is one of the big ones here. Luxor Temple, and it's right along the Nile, so check it out. Alright, so that was the Luxor Temple, and there's another big one here to see on the East Bank. So Luxor is split between the East Bank and the West Bank of the Nile. And on the East Bank, apparently, I'm sure there's a lot more, many more things to see, but the big two are Luxor Temple, which we just did, and then there's the Karnak Temple. We are going to go to Karnak, I think, tomorrow morning, because it's going to be dark soon. And then the next day, maybe we'll go to the West Bank and we'll see. But for right now, we're going to go relax. Right, buddy? Yeah, we are going <laughs> to relax. <laughs> we will and walk. we're gonna go walk along the Nile, be yeah. very, very relaxing, and then we're gonna go have a beer and enjoy our first evening in Luxor. Yeah. Okay. Yalla. Man, and this is almost so peaceful next to the Nile, except for the many people yelling at you to take a ride on their horse carriage or their boat. But other than that, it's very peaceful. Check it out. Wow. Yeah, I'm Masri. Masri. Yeah. What yeah. about you have my boat here? You have Faluk, I have motor boat. If you like it one hour, two round you share you all the Nile. Maybe later. You know? Two round you see many few. You know? Very nice if you another side. So to be honest, the hassle in Egypt so far for me has been 
pretty extreme and real. You really have to look out for people just hassling you to buy any and every such thing. You have to really negotiate the prices. They say anything you're going to buy here in the market, you should really cut the price in half when you start. So if they ask for 200 Egyptian pounds, you start at 100 and maybe you'll settle at like 120 or 130 or something. But it's intense and yeah I've already had a couple issues to be honest with getting overcharged for things it's probably best to come here with a tour guide which I have a zam which I'm lucky but when I'm alone it's much harder to uh, know that I'm getting a fair price you know um, and our, our tour guide for the uh, temple here is a really nice guy he said <laughs> the best strategy for dealing with these guys that are trying to sell you horse carriage rides and taxis and boat rides is to just completely ignore them because if you even engage with them or say no thank you, they're gonna just keep talking and never leave you alone, which we already experienced when we walked outside of the of the hostel this morning. That's advice from uh, an Egyptian. See, I'm even getting yelled at right now from the from the river, and he's like way down there on the banks, and I'm way up here. So it's a lot, but you just have to be prepared for that if you come to Egypt. Check out the temple from across the street here, you can kind of see the whole thing. You got the obelisk, the four guards there at the front, and then the whole thing. And the mosque over here. And the mosque, yeah. It's just to give you an idea of the uh, foreigner price here versus the uh, Egyptian price. I paid 160 pounds to get into the temple, which is like, I don't know, like $10 or so. And Azam paid the Egyptian student price which is five pounds which is like 30 cents because you're a student and i'm egyptian too yeah i know but even if you were a egyptian and not a student it would be like 10 pounds 30 pounds so two dollars it's wild so beautiful place here i think right now should we go grab a beer on the rooftop and relax a little bit yeah all right we need to relax we need to relax azam here had some job issues earlier so he's been a little bit stressed today isn't that right this is so right. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> so we're gonna go have a Stella beer or something, maybe. I wanna have cola. Corona? Cola. Cola. You want cola? No beer? No beer. Yeah, and as we're walking along, you can see this. We're walking along the Nile, kind of a little more inland. Uh, and you can see this road here. Let me spin the camera around. And this goes all the way from Karnak Temple down to Luxor Temple, where we just were there in the distance. And this road is lined with the sphinxes, or at least it was, you know, these uh, statues there. And they were on every one of these pedestals leading all along the road. So cool. Could you imagine when there was nothing else here? It was so totally ancient. All right, we made it up to a rooftop, and this is really the best view so far. Check it out. You can see Got, the temple over there. Yeah, Luxor Temple. And the Nile. And the Nile. And the West Bank. West Bank with the mountains and the road that leads all the way to Karnak. It's me, Douglas. Douglas. Told him, Ya Amman Amasri. Ya Amman Amasri. And over here you can see kind of the whole view of Luxor city. There's a church. And there are all the dreaded horse carriage men. Luxor City. Luxor Temple. And we've got a Zam here. Hey, Doc. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, we're just hanging out. We're about to enjoy a beautiful sunset with a nice Stella Egyptian beer. It's going to be great. No beer for Azam, though, only cola. Isn't that right? This is right. <laughs> I only drink cola. <laughs> this is my beer. Cola is my beer. Yes, cola is your beer. Yeah. Azam just can't get enough cola. Yeah. Guys, this sunset is absolutely beautiful, and to help you enjoy it, Azam is going to sing a song. Go ahead. Nearly full of Twitter, but in an Facebook and Jaw Bassam in Google, <laughs> Beautiful, bro. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bro. You're gonna be the next Egyptian pop star. Inshallah. Seriously? <laughs>
Yes, I will wait. <laughs> Look at the lighting right now with the sunset on the temple. Oh my god. It's amazing. And the Sphinx, yeah, they're lit up. The Sphinxes. Sphinxes. Wow. Oh, we're very zoomed in. That's better. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go have some dinner. Alright guys, we're here. I took um, Azam to a very fancy date night. <laughs> and we're gonna eat some traditional Egyptian food and I think I'm gonna try the stuffed pigeon which is a famous thing in Egypt, right? Yeah. It's yeah. good? Everyone who arrived in Egypt, he asked for a pigeon. Really? Yeah. The pigeon, if I ate it in New York, I would probably get sick and die. They're so dirty in New York. But uh, here I'm gonna try it and... Yeah, here it costs 110 dollars. Okay. My mother do it for, for me. My mother makes Mulukhia for me for free. Yeah, well... We it's a restaurant, you have to pay. <laughs> but not 100. So I'm getting the hamam mashi. Pigeon stuffed with rice or rubbed wheat, chopped onion and fresh herbs, charcoal, grilled or fried. What's better, grilled or fried? What's the traditional way? Fried. Fried? It's the oh. traditional way in Egypt. All right, fried it is. Wow, look at this restaurant, it's so cool. I love it. Shukran. And it's called, um, what's this restaurant called again? Sofra. Sofra. Sofra, Sofra wow. We Look are at here it. in Sofra. Yeah, would you like to give the narration? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. If you wanted to know more about Sofra, you should like and subscribe to the channel. Okay. Sofra is a fancy. I'm so, one. you're amazing. That was so great. Okay. <laughs> You will find here a lot of the, the traditional and uh, oriental food. Oriental uh, in Egypt means Egyptian. Because yeah. in America, oriental food mean, is like Chinese, Japanese. But oh. anyway, my camera's almost out of battery, so I'll be back to review the pigeon. Subscribe and like our channel. <laughs> our channel? Yeah. <laughs> On this side, when you spend a lot of time in Egypt, it will be my channel. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, and this to start off the meal is a banana juice, which basically tastes like a banana smoothie, and it's so good. Oh, I love it so much. I could drink this every day. I told you that you, you have to live in Egypt. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right, guys, the pigeon has arrived. Check it out. That's where they pulled the head off, I think. It looks very fancy, and it's stuffed with rice. All right, Azam, take it away. How do we do this? Yes. Okay. Act like me. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, we are busy eating French one with other hand. With a hand? Yeah. No way. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. That's the right way? Yeah. Oh, so hot. So hot? <laughs> Wait, you really just grab it and pull it apart? Yeah. Okay. Ah, it's too hot. Mm. Ow, ow. You really do it with your hands? Mm. Ow. Ow. Mmm. Mm. It's good. I'm trying to find the meat. This side. I'm having a hard time with this man. There's some meat. Ow! Remember, that's hot. So the way I would describe pigeon is it tastes a lot like chicken. And it's kind of a small bird, so there's not a ton of meat on it, but that might also be just because I'm inexperienced at finding it. Maybe a combination. It's good that it's stuffed with rice. But overall, really tasty. And I like that you can eat with your hands. Two thumbs up. I'm gonna turn the camera off because I'm already embarrassed on how I'm eating this. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more of Luxor. See you then.